Hello friends, this video on Biomolecules Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Correct. Now we'll talk about the cyclic structure of glucose. So chemists have seen that the straight chain structure of glucose proposed till now does not satisfy a lot of observation which was seen for the, for the carbohydrate, that is glucose. Right? So it does not satisfy some of the facts and some of the reaction it cannot be explained by the current structure of glucose because the current structure of glucose was this so this was not able to explain the uh, reactions and the facts about the glucose and one of them was this has aldehyde group but still it does not give 2,4 DNP test it does not give shift test also it does not form hydrogen sulfide addition product with NaHSO3. All these are pretty much mandatory for a compound which has free aldehyde group. Also the pentacetotrope of glucose, they does not react with hydroxy element. That indicates that there is absence of free aldehyde group. So if we take the pentacetotrope of glucose, for example I have I mean, this is my pentacetate of glucose. CS3, CS2, 4 CO, CS3. This is my pentacetate of glucose, right? So, this, when you react with hydroxy element, it does not react. But glucose reacts. Glucose, that is, we have seen actually. So when this reacts with my hydroxy element, it's fine. It is NH2OH, I believe. Right? But this, this works, this doesn't work. The question is why? Why this particular glucose reacts with hydroxy limine, but the pentacid of the same glucose does not react? That indicates that there is no free aldehyde air. That means the structure, this structure is not correct. It has to be something else. And this was clearly telling that there is, must be a cyclic group here and this aldehyde is not free. Because had this aldehyde been free, had this been the correct structure, this reaction would have taken place. Correct? So that means this structure is true for some cases. But that clearly shows because we have seen that a lot of assuming this structure to be true because this structure also we got from experiment itself the structure is true from some cases but for some cases the structure is not true that means the structure changes based on medium if it's aqueous medium the structure changes if it's a dry medium the structure is different right also it is seen that for the glucose it exists in two different crystalline form that is alpha form and beta form. The alpha form of glucose has a melting point of 419 Kelvin and the beta form of glucose has a melting point of 423 Kelvin. So with these two different crystalline forms it was pretty obvious that glucose exists in various forms. Correct? So this is one of the structure but there are other structures also possible because there is alpha glucose, there is a beta glucose which has different melting points and they are obtained using different process. The alpha glucose is prepared from concentrated solution of glucose at 303 Kelvin while the beta glucose is obtained from the same similar solution at 371 Kelvin that is hot and saturated aqueous solution. So with this it was pretty obvious that this figure is not the correct one. So they came up with two figure that is a cyclic one and they are alpha D glucose and beta D glucose. So what are the structure they told that if you see I'll just show you how it works. We have a aldehyde group and when you react with alcohol what will happen here? This oxygen slightly negative, 
slightly positive this carbon has slightly positive charge this oxygen has the lone pair will attract this carbon so what you get here is R C O minus H O H and R dash since this oxygen gave electron to this carbon oxygen gets positive charge correct so somebody has to leave because oxygen electronegative element doesn't want positive charge in it this hydrogen will say I will leave it as H plus and this hydrogen will be attacked by this O minus right so with this you get R C O H H N O R dash this is the reaction to form hemiacetal so if you see this is a hemiacetal this is a carbon here O R group attached O H R and H this is a hemiacetal Similar thing will happen here. So this is a aldehyde, aldehyde here on this carbon. This will be attacked by one of the OH. Now the question is which OH? So these OH will not be able to attack. Why? Because the orientation will not be there. Correct? So this is like this. If I have a long rope, right? There's a positive charge here. And there's a, even if a negative charge is there, they'll not be able to attract. Because the orientation won't allow but if there is a negative charge here right it can attract and form a bond it can form a circle easily correct why because if there's a positive there's a negative here this negative will not be able to bend but if there's a long chain the last negative charge will be able to bend easily right will be able to join this positive charge space it's all about space so this carbon is the one which will attack this has a lone pair this will go in this direction slightly negative charge slightly positive charge it will attack similar to this fashion what will happen is this will form something like this it will form beta or alpha d glucose it will have two isomers because the carbon the OH can attack either from this side or from this side so based on that we will get two different structures so let me show you with this reaction how the reaction works this is my glucose 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 carbon so this CH2OH this oxygen is going to react right attack this particular carbon go in this direction slightly negative slightly positive charge. So what will happen here is this bond will form oxygen will get a slightly positive charge right so I'll show you the reaction here oxygen with the hydrogen here okay, because this whole thing went correct slightly positive on this oxygen it will want to get rid of it this hydrogen will say okay I'll go and this will get attached to this carbon this oxygen O minus so what you get here is OH 1 2 3 carbon C this is O here and CH2OH now if you see this particular reaction it can happen from this side or from this side so in one case hydrogen will be on this side in another case hydrogen will be on this side so this is called alpha d glucose why d because oh is here d side here also oh is here d side so both are d but this is alpha and this is beta correct so these are the two different forms alpha d glucose and beta d glucose and we will see that the beta D alpha D glucose in fact beta D glucose is more stable thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again